You a lie. I have a beach ball. Tell me I'm not at the beach. Just like don't look at the carpet, but like I, I'm at the beach. Hey, it's Sunday and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today I am going to be telling you how I got this beautiful wet look on this curly wig from Miss Coco. First of all, first of all, I just came back from the dentist. <laughs> so if I'm talking kind of weird, that's why I swear like this whole half of my face is still numb. This dude, he numbed my whole face, like my eye, like I couldn't even drive back. Like, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to blink after you leave the dentist. I don't freaking know, that's just me. Comment down below, what do you think? Back to this wig. Okay, today I'm gonna to be showing you how I got this wet look from this curly wig from Miss Coco. I have worked with this company before in the past and I absolutely loved their wig, like so, so, so much. And it is summer, I am in California right now for a few months and I really wanted to try that curly wet look but on a longer unit. I've tried the curly wet look but it was always on really short hair and you guys know me, I don't really, I don't really love short hair. Not only is this a long unit, but it is 24 inches. <gasps> yes, do you see this? Oh, yes. This is basically my favorite length ever. Let me just show y'all this hairline, okay? Before I show you how I got this look, let me just get y'all the details because you're going to want to know the details if I can remember them. This wig came with a comb on the side, a comb on the other side, a comb in the middle. The amazing hooks in the back. Not the basic hooks for the basic girls. The really, really, really good hooks. The ones that don't come out. It is the Loose Deep Wave Lace Front Wig. This thing was 250% density. Super thick. Yet I still got it to lay down with just some water and gel. It does have 13 by four inches of parted space. Y'all, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. The hairline was really nice. It came pre-plucked. Um, I did have to cut some baby hairs and it was not bleached, but I literally always just put concealer and it's fixed. But plucking the hairline is really, really difficult. So it is awesome that this was already done. This loose deep wave is really, really beautiful. This is such a nice curl pattern as you can see. Um, before I even like showed you guys on camera, I had been messing with it and the curls were still nice. Like these curls are so, so, so beautiful. I believe this is Brazilian hair, which is nice to know because a lot of times I don't even be knowing what kind of hair it is. Like, can y'all tell me or what? I wish I could say I did more, but I literally didn't do much of this wig. Put it on my head, cut off the lace. I sewed in an elastic band from ear tap to ear tap because I always do because I don't like to wear glue or tape. See, this is not glued down whatsoever or nothing. But if I have the elastic bands, it keeps the wig down and it keeps the front flat on your head so it's not like flapping up. I wet it up completely. some eco styling gel and I put gel all throughout the hair and then I like crunched it up. Put some concealer on the part to make it look more real. Cut some baby hairs and slick them down with some eco styling gel. which was the gel. I see people go up with the gel and then the cream and then the mousse and then the foam and then the oil and I'm just like, girl. Number one, I ain't trying to have nobody's pimple. Um, and number two, it's just not that serious. You don't need all that to get this look. If you would like these to be a little bit more soft and not so crunchy, I would definitely recommend going in with like a, like a curl enhancing smoothie cream, something like that, and then go in with the gel. But these aren't crunchy at all. I'm fine, girl, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I really feel like I need to go to the beach. 
Can I just cut some and take me to the beach? Let me get into the good and the bad stuff. The good stuff. The parting space, absolutely amazing. 13 by four, that makes it look a whole lot more realistic. Second good part was the hairline. It did come pre-plucked, so if you are someone who does not know how to customize wigs, for you. Obviously the length is my favorite thing, but you know, that you can get that in any wig, anywhere. Other good point is this curl pattern. It is absolutely beautiful. I freaking love it. It's so nice. And the last good point is that beautiful, amazing hook in the back. It comes with one of the good hooks, so this ain't gonna be flying off. I don't know if it's gonna hold in the ocean, but you know, at least for day-to-day -day use, you good. Super easy to manage. It was extremely dense, so I was worried. Like, when I saw this in the pack, I was like, I don't even feel like dealing with this. But as soon as I sprayed it with some water, it was fine. And that is it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. I definitely recommend this wig. Miss Coco is very, very reliable. I trust them, like, completely. I know I love their wigs. Their wigs are bomb as flip. So, if you want to check them out and you're looking for some really cute, curly look for the summer, all the links will be down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.